Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Scribble Knots. So, recording session is going to be a short one again, because I spent the last like three or so hours just fucking around with the object editor. I downloaded a bunch of shit for us to screw around with, and I'll just show you guys for example. And I tried to make some shit, and it didn't work. I tried making the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and then I think it's hard to do it right, and so the tank looked better, and then, yeah, it just failed miserably. I am very bad at this, and somehow... People, the, the editor isn't that good yet. Somehow people are able to make things like this Pyro from TF2, the Mecha Rabbi, <laughs> uh, just a bunch of random, random stuff. They're able to make, they're, they're able to make Saxon Hail and a realistic T-Rex, and an Onos from uh, Natural Selection 2. What the hell? If people were able to make this, yet I can't make something as simple as a tank that will time travel and reaches a certain speed. So this kind of stuff that I don't get, like, I, I, I might, I mean, once I figure out how to do it, I might do a little tutorial or something. I mean, hell, if someone even made Majora's Mask, that actually doesn't, I, I can see how that's made. That's some pyramid, some cone, triangle thingies, a diamond, I don't know, those looks like teardrops. Yeah. But it is really annoying because you are. Oh, I wanted to go back to my objects. Just I'm just gonna give you an example. Um, you're extremely limited in what you can do. So yeah, let's let's just make a new object and let's let's make a sub submission gun. So, wait, whoops, submission gun. There we go. So. It's really easy to edit simple things, like if you want to edit the damage, or if you want to add a scripting behavior. It's really simple to do basic stuff, like um, when it's e when it starts being on fire, we can make it yeah repeatable. So then then it will explode, for example. Or we can make it sh create an object, and then we can make the I'll change the object, so that that's that stuff right there is really simple. But stuff like this is where it gets an, gets annoying. Like if it emits it emits an elemental object like a storm, so let's let's make it emit some some flames, and let's go back. Yeah, you can't toggle that on or off, and you can't edit anything about it in scripting, like whether it's toggleable from what I can tell. Let's see, let's see if we could actually do something. Attach, attach, blah, 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 blah. Is activated. Let's see, then it will push, use no motion, express motion, throw up. Yeah. Yeah, not much, not much we can do in the way of messing around with this flames. And then, even better. We can't actually edit the base item at all besides resizing it, so we can make it just massive. And then we can copy it. If we select it first. The thing is, if we copy it, we can't place it unless it's actually connected somehow, so. Yeah, we could, we could just connect, a, connect it like that, and now we have we have a double submachine gun. But, let's throw it away. Let's say, let's just use this race car, for example. Let's say we want to make this, add this to it. And then let's say we want to add this door back here, for example. We can't because it's no longer connected to that object. So we'd have to place the door. Let's see, let's bring this to front. Or send this to back, I guess, because we can't bring it up to front. Oops. So we'd have to place this door up to here. So we can't we couldn't place it farther back. We could place it maybe right there, because it's just a few pixels on. But right there, no. So yeah. And then you can't create custom objects either, and so let's see. If you notice that race car didn't have any examples, when you go to spawn a race car, for example, it's made up of multiple parts. So we actually have to select a part to use. We can we could just select the individual wheels, or we could select the car itself. If we select the individual wheel, so if we select the car itself, of course, no wheels. If we select the wheels, no car, and of course, the same thing. We wanted to spawn the race car and then put the wheels on it. So let's say we have a race car that has a gun on it. That wheel works, but that doesn't. Yeah. And it gets even more difficult because the only the list of objects you have are pretty short, from what I can tell. I don't know if 
downloading objects add stuff here, but let's say you wanted to add a head. It adds this head by default, which is larger than the rest, as you can see. And let's say you wanted to add hair. That's what hair gives you by default, this little thing. And of course you could resize it and everything. But let's see, let's go, let's see if we get long hair. Yeah, one word, doesn't do anything. You separate it, whoops. And it removes the adjective and just gives you hair. So, you can't use adjectives as much. So, it's meaning you're limit limited even more here. This is extremely limited as well. And these are your shapes, basically. And these are what you're going to be using the most if you actually want to learn to use this. But, yeah, this is my biggest peep. I thought this would be something fun and great to mess around with. And I'm just amazed that people have managed to make those things. I mean, so, for example, though, if I wanted to make something uh, crazy, like, let's say I wanted to have this submachine gun that emits flames uh, attached to a car, I have to make this, and then I have to go and make a car, and then maybe I could get this and add it to the car, but I'm not 100% sure, because I'm actually pretty sure you can't even do that, because, uh... You can't make custom projectiles for a gun, like, uh, right here, there's the weapon tab. You could change the projectile type here, and change it to, uh, just completely random stuff. Like, I could change it to Jockalopes. So, it now shoots Jockalopes. And it shoots Explodes, and they are exploding Jockalopes. So it shoots exploding jockalopes now, great, hilarious. But I'm still stuck with that, and I can't edit it any further. So it's great for little things like that. And it's, it's definitely great for that, and I'm not complaining about stuff for that, but what I wanted to do was stuff like make whole new characters, make whole, whole new skins, and so well, let's... I actually want to try this out. Jockalope gun. So, let's save that, and then let's let's make a new object. Let's try to make a person this time. Let's try to make, um, hmm. let's just try to make a fancy guy. So let's, so let's start off a business. Method. So. It's the suit and everything, right? So we can take his head off, we can take his arm off, we can take his legs off. But we can't edit the chest. At all. This is a big thing. If you want to edit a skin or a person, you're actually going to have to figure out which one has the closest chest to what you want, because you can't edit that. Then let's show the hitboxes, the bounding boxes. You can remove the bounding boxes. Yes. Let's see. We... And you can't add bounding boxes either, so once you delete them, they're gone. So, let's see if we want to remove this arm. Yeah, there's the arm bounding box. Now we can remove that as well, which is stuck right there, but you can't retrieve it again, I think. Normally, you can't retrieve it again. Usually, it'll just completely delete it. So, yeah. So, let's say I remove all these bounding boxes, and I want to go add a leg. So, let's just find a blank leg here doesn't have its own bounding box. It is now bound by that one. Let's change the animation as well. Each bounding box is individually animated. So these bounding boxes have legs, leg animations, this one has arm animation, and this one has torso animation. Since this is attached to the torso, torso bounding box, it now shows the torso animation. So if I put it right here, it now shows the leg animation, and if I put it right here, it shows the head animation, and that looks weird. <laughs> And uh, how's the arm animation? So, it's not all bad though. You could take these bounding boxes, let's move the object from it right here, and you could resize them. But you could only resize them proportionally. And from what I understand, these bounding boxes also influence hip boxes as well. So, if you're trying to make an enemy or a character or something, it could be even more troublesome. Now, again, let's go to stamps. We have a beard here. Yeah, we can do it. We, 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 it isn't hard to edit everything. But again, hair. We want to add, oh, that's weird. We want to add hair or anything. We could use the beard. We may, have, we may have to use a beard for hair to get what we want. 
Maybe we don't want those, those ears there on that model. Uh, we'd have to find a head that has it, because if we were to spawn a head, it spawns this bald one. Which has eyebrows as well, which people may not want. And then now it shares the arm bounding box, so let's see the animation. I want to see what that looks like very quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> that is horrifying. So, let's leave this abomination. No, I, will, I do not want to say that. And let's look at what some people have created. Someone made Phoenix right. I don't know how they made that hair back there. Let's see. You could, you could copy it and uh, go and edit it or and see what they did for yourself. So, they have right there. What is that? I don't even know. It doesn't. You can't figure out what an object is. It doesn't give you a definition or anything. And again, with the thing, we put it outside the bounding box or put it too far away. Uh, it's. Uh, it has to be either within the bounding box or connected to something in the bounding box. So, like, that will work. That will work. If I move the bounding box over here, that will work. But that won't work. So, again, you're limited by the bounding boxes as well. We'll also go into the script. So, source object is lawyer, source audio is lawyer. Apparently, that's the lawyer source audio. That is kind of weird. No, we will not save the object. Let's delete this copy. And you could tell that it takes a lot of work to do stuff. You could also make custom projectiles, like the portal gun, I'm not going to show it, but they you can't give them custom properties or anything. They act just the same as a normal projectile, but you could give them a custom, uh, a custom graphic. Let's see. This is just, yeah, just most of, the, most of the things are just simple edits and all that stuff. I mean, uh, the, this, this, this day look right here. How? What is that thing? That's probably a watermelon trunk down. That's how they probably got that. That Jurati, just really simple. Jar, yellow rectangle, lid. That AK, you can see right there where they, where they have to get the angle from the banana clip, how there's a slight intersection right there. And so some people who are OCD about that stuff are gonna have a hell of a time doing this. Things like that though, that's a simple texture. So that makes things a bit easier. So yeah, this yeah, th this is a mind turtle. This person, if you don't know what mind turtles from, look, I think it's Tom Ska, whoever does ASDF movie. If you haven't seen that and you're on YouTube, I don't know what's wrong with you. This APZ, just an edit with guns added, basically. That medigun looks like it was drawn, but it wasn't. Someone had to find items and all that stuff that fit the shape and all that stuff. This growlithe, look, you can see all those hairs, all the hair, the hair just colored white because you can't. It's impossible to find another fur type thing that spawns something else because the list you have is so limited. You then have to just search it. You didn't have to just search and go through dictionaries and thorses, the sources to get anything, anything useful. Sucks and hail. Just the chest hair is the hair again. Mustache, he just has a hat. And I don't even know. And then he used the boxes to give the lighter boxes to make it look like he has abs. Uh, that's just sheet metal, and I don't even know how he got the cylinder right there. I don't even know how this guy made the scatter gun. I tried finding a double belt shot and all that stuff. I can't even figure it out. This Godzilla. It's just a T Rex with four on its back with St uh, stood up right, so it was just rotated, basically. I mean, the object editor is great, I mean, people are able to make crazy things, but for someone who just wants to mess around in it and make something new, you're gonna have a hell of a time. That Captain Falcon, the helmet is just the rooster thing hat that Maxwell has, just edited, and stuff added onto it. That flamethrower right there, just change color, be added to it. Hydra, just multicolored with a head added to it. This monocle thing, monocle stuff right here, they probably just put a monocle on a mustache. Because they couldn't move it anywhere else, it's probably too close together. This Goku, I have no fucking idea how they got the hair. Though you can see separate pieces right there because the color changes and there's actual shading and then that's all black. This soldier, this UNSC soldier right here, they had to have an element and add all that stuff. That that was something simpler though. You could get all the, all that stuff's available in the list. You could easily see it. But stuff like no, nah, like that's not a good example. Um, stuff like this detonator here. I mean, where where are you gonna find a little sight front sight right there? 
where are, you 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 pretty much have to make that and how are you gonna make that and if you can't make it how are you gonna figure out what the hell it is and what the hell to type in to spawn it I mean you only get a few pages of the list it, it just it's just uh, almost infuriating because I spent the last three hours in here trying to make something something useful something we could have fun with and I I just can't and it's just because the the uh, ma object maker just doesn't allow you. I mean, this right here, this Saiga shotgun, it's a, it's a flintlock musket with a... I can't even tell. I, I can't even tell what that is. That looks like a fucking bolter. But yeah, you can see the musket right there, and you can see the little trigger trigger guard right there. Flintlock. They have to put the musket there to get the bolt and everything that they wanted and get the butt stock. I mean... It's great that they finally put an editor in, but it has me facepalming at how badly they did on making it user-friendly. It's great, people can do amazing stuff, but it is not user-friendly at all. I was reading some stuff, people making something as simple as, let's see, making some... Always a good example. Making something as simple as, like, this, this marine right here. Could have taken someone hours because they would have to search for dozens, if not hundreds, of things trying to find the one that fits just right. This Mecha Cthulhu, this Cthulhu Tron right here, not too hard because parts are relatively simple and easy to find, and it's just section changes. But this, this, uh, let's see, yeah, again, the scatter gun. They would have had to find a gun that fits the right shape, and then they would have to. Just add it. All they had to do was just add some, a cylinder, and I think a piece of sheet metal here. But this Onos, this probably took someone a week to do. They had to find just the right tentacles. They had to find the right stuff here. They edit the head. They probably should have the gorilla. They had to figure out what a good proper base was, which was is a gorilla, obviously. But then they have to do all the coloring and the texture. And then if they want to want it to be really good, they have to find a texture that does the shading as well. Otherwise, that's going to be a matte flat texture like the Majora's Mask right here. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I think this took up an episode in itself. And you guys got a good look at the little library guys went through 25 pages on the Steam Workshop. I was going to go to the Plaza, but the Plaza actually isn't in the Steam version, because the Steam Workshop is there. Otherwise, you'd have gone to a Plaza and your G-Stores and stuff, which is kind of kind of sad. I wanted to be able to set up a little store and all that stuff. But yeah. I mean, just just look at this Gordon Freeman. Let's, let's copy him for a second and go into the edit mode before we end this all. So, again. Looks like it's just a few parts, right? No. The head is somehow one part. Where the hell did they get that head, or how the hell did they make that head? That is what I'm wondering. The arm? There's the arm. There's the wrist. Somehow one part as well. Where the hell do you get that wrist? Just a simple part there. Then they had to make this. Where the hell and how the hell did they make this? This looks like they had two of... This doesn't look like it was made because of shading. Even though the shading is off here and there. This? Just just a bunch of circles that had to be made. And let's see, does that actually change it at all? I don't know. And then there, just just a pen, just uh, just add some L's for the Lamba symbol. I'm actually surprised. That was an impressive. I want to undo that. How did they do that? No, I guess I guess the Lamba symbol is pretty simple. Simple. Uh, yeah. But then this? Where the hell do you get that? Where the hell do you get these, and how do you give them the right color? This is probably his body armor, and they just scale- If you saw, he's fucking huge. Let's, let's put Max on there for scale. He's fucking huge. So they obviously had to scale him up to get the stuff to fit. But then they'd have to scale the object down as a whole to get it into proportion. The legs. What are these? Where the hell do you get them? These are knee pads. That's how big this thing is. Knee pad. It has knee pads for shins. And then the boots? Where the hell do you get these shoes? You'd have to search for hours just to get the right shoe, and then you'd have to edit it, and then you'd have to, uh... What the hell is this rotating? Oh, I need to see. 
you then you have to edit the texture and everything to get it just right. I mean, it's just it's just absurd. And let's see, let's see if we can show the bounding box on this. Bounding box. Yeah, I like how big the bounding boxes have to be. The head bounding box is massive compared to the head. And of course, you can't edit the torso, and I have no clue how they found a matte black torso as well. And then you can, you can see the base though, so you can see how they got this. So they they obviously just spawned the boxer. So so let's see, let's see what a boxer looks like in comparison. So they somehow got that from this. What the fuck? What kind of ungodly torture did they have to go through to turn this into that? Let's see. Let's see. Can we just can we just give this a simple black texture? Okay. Apparently, if you put the texture on it enough, you can just make it plain black. So there's a torso. What about the arms? Okay, I guess I have some shading on them. The head? How do you... you you'd have to replace the head. So I can see where you got the hands from finally. You just use the boxer's hands. But then you have to add... It has elbows. Most things... And very few things actually have elbows in this. I mean, it just shows you that. The kind of hoops you kind of have to jump through. And how out of scale everything is if you if you make it work. You can't truly make it work, because the editor is just not user-friendly. I mean, this head, you had to edit it separately, as far as I can tell. Because the glasses are attached to it, they're not a part of this object, they're a part of this object. And you can tell this is an entire object, because it selects the whole thing. Otherwise, I'd be able to take off the hair, hair or find out, figure out what kind, uh... Or be able to spawn that hair and spawn those glasses. Let's see. Let's see. Can we? Can we actually, sp in fact, spawn the? Oh, I can't spawn new stuff because uh, for some reason. What the hell? So I can throw stuff away. There we go. Oh, because there's an object limit apparently, and this guy managed to reach the object limit. Let's see. Glasses. They have limit reach, yeah, so apparently there's one. These aren't the same glasses. Where the hell do you get those glasses? It's just... <sighs> I, I, I just I'm just used to editors allowing you to do pretty complex, big piece of stuff. That looks ridiculous. But I'm seriously just used to editors being user-friendly when they're actually added into a game. And being able to do complex stuff. And being easy and fun to use. And even if you undo everything, it actually doesn't fix it because that isn't layered right. I really hope at some point they release an update or something to make this more user friendly and more usable. It's easy enough to just do simple edits, like making the Jackal of Gun. But if you want to make Gordon fucking Freeman or some other crazy shit like this creeper, look at look at how derpy that creeper is. That is the best creeper on there right now. Someone made Wheatley even. Probably the size of the fucking moon though. Holy, I mean, how else would you get that? I'm just really hoping for some sort of update, because I was hoping to be able to use this, uh, use the optic editor to do stuff on live streams with and live stream around and make crazy stuff and just have fun. But it, it, it literally, I spent like over an hour trying to make a new character just to mess around with. And then that didn't work. So then I just spent another few hours trying to make a a DeLorean uh, from Back to the Future, so I can make a car that wouldn't reach certain speed. It would time travel because time traveling in this game is pretty funny. And then that didn't work. So I tried. I tried because I couldn't find a DeLorean or make something that looked like it. So then I tried doing it for Tank, 
turns out that the time machine didn't work when it was a stamp, so then I had to bake it based off a time machine, and then, oh my god. You guys get the idea by this point. Anyways, that's a little rant. I'll actually get recording the episode now. Hope you guys enjoyed this rant, which I'd be surprised if you do. Uh -huh. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.